Now let's see about sim e não. Yes and no. And other useful words. Sim, yes. Example. Você gosta desta música? Sim, eu gosto. Do you like the song? Yes, I do. Não, no, or not. Example. Você gostou daquele filme? Não, eu não gostei. Did you like that movie? No, I did not. In some specific cases, no can be translated to other words. Example. No man can fly. Nenhum homem pode voar. Now let's see talvez. Talvez can be translated to maybe or perhaps. Example. Talvez chova. Maybe it will rain. Talvez você esteja certo. Perhaps you are right. Let's see these words. Certo. Certo. Right. Errado. Errado. Wrong. Bom. Bom. Good. Ruim. Ruim. Bad. Bom can be used to express quality. Aquele carro é bom. That car is good. Bom can also be used to express moral quality. Aquele homem é bom. That man is good. Now let's see the feminine forms of these words. Certa. Errada. Boa. Let's see one example with the word boa. Aquela pessoa é boa. That person is good. Pessoa in Portuguese is a feminine word, even when it refers to a man. The word ruim is the same for masculine or feminine cases. Example, aquela pessoa é ruim. That person is bad. Ruim can be used to express quality or moral. But to express moral, there is a word that is very used. Mal. The feminine form is má. Example, aquela mulher é má. That woman is bad. Mal and má can also be translated to evil. Aquela pessoa é má. That person is evil. A masculine example. Aquele homem é mau. That man is evil. These words also have plural forms. Let's see one example. Aqueles homens são bons. Those men are good. One more example. Homens bons e homens maus. Good men and evil men. Note this useful word. The conjunction E. In this context, E means and. Another example. Fogo e água. Fire and water. That is it. I see you later.